Can you get a concussion from a whiplash? The answer is yes. Concussion does not require you to be hit in the head. Concussion is a result of the brain undergoing acceleration and deceleration forces. If you are hit in the head, obviously that's the easiest way for the brain to move around within the skull because the force is delivered directly there. And so you can get a smaller hit to the head and that can move your head a substantial amount and you can get a concussion injury. But if you get a substantial hit in the body or even just falling on your bum or you know whatever, if your head whips back and forth kind of in that whiplash-like mechanism, you can suffer from a concussion injury. I will say this, however, it's much, um, the forces that are required, concussion happens around 120, or sorry, 70 to 120 Gs of acceleration. Whiplash injury can happen as little as four and a half Gs of acceleration. So every single concussion will have a whiplash included. So every single concussion, because you're taking a force of 70 to 120 Gs of acceleration, a whiplash injury is also caused by acceleration and deceleration, but it's acceleration and deceleration of the neck. Well, the head and neck are attached. The head can't accelerate unless the neck is also accelerating. There's just no way for it to happen. So if you've had a concussion, 70 to 120 Gs to the head, you've taken at least four and a half to the neck. So every single concussion will have a whiplash but not every single whiplash will have a concussion. And it's just based on the force differential because you can get a whiplash at four and a half Gs but not get a concussion because you haven't hit the concussion threshold. But if you've hit the concussion threshold, you've definitely surpassed the whiplash threshold, okay? So that's the distinction. Yes, you can get a concussion from a whiplash provided the whiplash is fairly significant. But if you do have a concussion, you for sure have some element of whiplash. The interesting thing is, is that the symptoms of whiplash and the symptoms of concussion are the exact same. They found people with whiplash will have cognitive difficulties, visual disturbances, balance impairments, memory impairments, uh, headaches, uh, everything. Every single symptom lines up specifically with whiplash and concussion and so you can't tell the difference. So you may have had a whiplash and you're experiencing symptoms that you think are more concussion related. They may actually just be the whiplash because the symptoms are the same. And the same thing goes for concussion. If you've had a concussion and you're still experiencing ongoing symptoms, this is why treatment of the neck can help with your symptoms. Because you've had a concussion and a whiplash and everyone's focused on your brain and getting your concussion gone, but the symptoms you're now experiencing might just be due for the under, from the underlying whiplash that you also experienced. So that's why neck treatment can be effective for concussion.